welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, a bunch of my babies actually have their ears pierced and actually only three of them, Emma, Mallory, and Kaylee, because they were my oldest babies back when I pierced my baby's ears. But I decided it'd be fun to pierce some of my other baby's ears, such as Charlotte, Delilah, Paige, Parker, and I might do a few others, but those are the main ones I wanted to pierce their ears. I just thought it'd be fun because um, I think they look really cute with earrings. And I even brought down some other earrings for um, exchanging. I really only have dangly ones left. I need to buy some other earrings to put on them. But I brought a um, thumbtack so I can pierce the ears. And then I brought these other earrings, most of which are from Justice. I don't wear these ones anymore, which is why I am giving them to the babies mm -hmm. but I brought them so they can try these on I don't know if dangly earrings are gonna work but I'm certainly going to try and I don't wear these anymore so it's okay if um, I don't know they get ruined and I won't like miss them if I'm looking for them yeah let's just get started since Delilah's the oldest I thought that she should go first so like I said I have already pierced some other baby's ears before so this is not my first time doing such a thing. She has a silicone head, so this should go through really easily, and it did. Um, can't even find the hole. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think that Delilah would look really nice with these earrings, because she really likes this color. So I'm thinking, actually, I feel like Abby might like those. Um, maybe Delilah would look cute with one of these. Yeah, I'll try this one. I think she'll look cute with this. So like I said, all these earrings are dangly earrings, which is kind of difficult to put into their heads. Um, she really doesn't even need pre-poked holes because her ears, like her silicone is nice and soft so I can like poke new holes really easily. Oh, that looks really cute. Look, she has dangly earrings. That does look pretty cute. Okay, let's flip her to the other side and do the other one. I'm not even gonna bother with a pre-poked hole just because um, she really doesn't need it. I'm just gonna kinda put it in. Yeah, that was easy. So, there we go. And she's an older baby, so I don't think that dangly earrings look that weird on her. That looks really cute, actually. <laughs> So there is Delilah's earrings, super duper. Next up we're going to do Paige. So for Paige, I'm thinking that she would look cute with these silver hearts. So I think I'm going to put those on her. So where did I put my thumbtack? Oh, there it is. This thing blends into the rug. And I took her hair out of the pigtails and it looks really cute. Forgot to show you guys that. Okay, I'm going to poke it right here. Come in. Sorry guys, I have to have dinner soon. Well, right now. I'll just do Paige's ears first. So, um, yeah, also I just wanna say, if you are going to do this or want to do this to your baby lives, please make sure you have your parents' permission if they don't want you to do this to dolls because you can damage them if you're not careful about it. For younger children, I would recommend having your parents do it for you, but yeah. There we go. So you can see it did make a hole and it's super easy to do. It does take quite a bit of muscle. That's why also a parent would be good to do this. Oh, I don't know if these earrings are going to fit in the hole. Might not. I'm going to try and like open up the hole a little bit more with the pin. Just got to wiggle it around to make the hole bigger. It definitely looks bigger. Still not going in. Hmm, this is really odd. I'm just gonna really open it as much as I possibly can without making it too big. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit lower. So we're just gonna try this. There we go, it's in. And I don't mind bending the um, little 
piece that hangs it. Because I'm not going to wear these. That looks really cute. Oh, look! She has a dangly earring! Alright, we're going to do the other side really quick. And then I'm going to go have dinner and I'll come back and do the other babies. Oops, dropping the pin. This looks to be about the same spot. And if they have a head that turns super easily like hers, you just want to make sure you hold the head really, uh, really well. Push all the way in. So yeah, the best thing to do is take the pin in and out a few times and also like move it around a lot. I have done this quite a few times. I do, I've done this to my Barbies and I've pierced a lot of dolls ears. So or I know what I'm doing. I think it's cute when they have earrings. I prefer studs for the babies, but um, dangly earrings work too. It's going in. Eh, doesn't want to go all the way in. I don't know why. It's just being super duper weird. Gotta like move this around. She does not want to stay still either. This is hard because I'm trying to do it from a distance. I think I got it pretty open now. Okay, well, this does not seem to want to go in. I'm considering even cutting the earring a little bit, just so it'll have less. Cause like I said, I'm never gonna wear these anymore. And that one cut really easily too. I don't know why this one just doesn't wanna go in. I guess that's good enough. That looks super cute actually though. I like that a lot, it looks really cute on her. So there is Paige's earrings. And if you do cut them, make sure you don't lose this piece because it's kind of sharp. All right guys, so next up we have Parker. I think that these earrings will do nicely for her. So we're gonna use those. And here we go, her hair's already tied back. So just one step easier for me because it's harder when their hair is down. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I'm kind of close to the camera, so if I sound super loud, that's why. <laughs> here we go. Almost in all the way. So yeah, look at that. Like I said, if you do want to do this to any of your babies, please just get your parents' permission first. <laughs> I don't want to be taking the blame for you guys ruining your dolls because you told your mom, well, Kelly did it. So please make sure they know you're going to do that. There we go. So let's try it on. Come on. There we go. Gotta and kind of bend it so it, yeah, like that. Nope. <laughs> there we go. That looks cute. <laughs> Come on, Parker. You can also draw like dots with washable marker on their ears like so you make sure you're getting them equally before you poke either of them because like when you get your ears pierced like at a like ear piercing place like Claire's you they usually draw dots on your ears and then they ask you to look in the mirror and make sure it looks even so you can do that I'm just trusting myself so yeah but if you don't trust yourself then make marks So 
Ooh, that one went in pretty easily. Oh wait, this one looks different than the other one. Yeah, it is. The other one has like this casing on it, and this one doesn't. That looks off. Maybe I'll give her different ones, because I don't really like how they are not the same. Let's give her, you know, we'll give her these pink hearts instead. That way she'll have like, um, they'll look the same. I'm not gonna put those on anyone because I don't want anyone to have ones that look off. You know, they don't look right. That's better. Because <laughs> they were hanging at different lengths was part of the issue. <laughs> that was really the main reason I wanted to switch it. There, that looks really cute. <laughs> Heart earrings, really cute. So here's Charlotte. Mallory has hers pierced and they're twins. So I thought, why not just do them both? Huh. That wasn't very good, it popped out, but it did not get me. Just gonna move it around inside her ear. Best to like take it out and put it back in. I didn't really pick earrings for her yet. I just kind of wanted to poke the holes. Here we go. I'm not doing all of them. I'm only doing a few babies. So far, this is our fourth one. And I don't think I'm going to do anyone else. But I'm not positive. Her. These ones could be cute. Don't you think? That'd be cute. I'd rather her have studs because she's a littler baby. She's not little, she's four, but. I just feel like she should have um, studs. These don't even want to go in her ear. Oh wait, there we go. Just have to get it right. There, that's cute. Now let's get the other side. Ooh, where'd I put the other earring? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Since the other one had some difficulty, I'm just gonna make sure this is open and opened enough, because I don't think it is. There we go. Push it in. There we go. There, that looks cute actually. I like that a lot, super cute. A while back, Kaylee, she had these earrings in, but one of them broke, so the flower broke off. So I just wanted to give her some different earrings since she kind of only had one. So I think that Kaylee would look really cute with these butterflies. I was saving these for her because I think she'll look really cute with these. So yeah. Put them in her pre-poked hole. That looks cute, I like that. It's super like Kaylee-ish, I feel. You know, like I feel like it suits her. Her hair is like crazy right now. <laughs> so yeah, they're like these little crystally butterflies. I thought that that would look really cute for Kaylee. And it totally does. Come on. 
does not want to go in her ear. There, aww, that looks cute. That's really adorable. Then I just wanted to show Emma's earrings are these little butterflies, they're studs. And then Mallory's are these little um, flowers that are super. All right guys, well thank you all so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments, let me know who you think looks the best with their new earrings. I would say I really like Kaylee's and I also like the way that pages look. So yeah, we'll see you guys later.